Hey there everyone! Star Lost Seas now has its own official Discord. You can join by going to the link in the description below. We've got plenty of channels to choose from, so come talk about D&D, come talk about your favorite video games, or join a VC watch party for when new episodes release. It's a server made entirely for all of you in our wonderful community. Thank you so much for the support you guys have shown Star Lost so far, and without further ado, enjoy the rest of the episode. Hello I everyone, welcome to Star Lost Seas. I'm your DM, Cryolane, and this is my great, great party. I realized I call you guys my lovely party a lot, which I do think you're all lovely. But, you know, Pulse, what you eating? Uh, I got uh, some ham and eggs. Ooh! Mm. Well, it's solid! Syrup. It's I'm gonna really suck when you spill those ham and eggs and start yep. waving! <laughs> It's all over the goddamn oh. keyboard. <laughs> Y'all, you wait. <laughs> steer sticky keys. <laughs> Literally. All right. <laughs> That's such a dumb joke. Recap. Last time on Star Lost Seas. The, uh, the group decided it was time to leave Twink Tanya and set back out for the Westwood after all of their multi-planar shenanigans. They collected Arlashna and brought her to the ship so that she could travel along with them. She is still presently in a coma. They, uh, and then they set off. They spent a lot of time just sort of chatting, getting to know some of the NPCs, getting to know each other a bit. Mara had a, an incident as an octopus. He definitely almost died. It would have been kind of funny. <laughs> Lotus went around making pretty much the entire crew very concerned. Uh, there's literally no other words for it. Everyone's very concerned. <laughs> and then everybody had a nice dinner and they all got set up to go to bed. Hickory, you were told that either you or Doc, whichever one of you wakes up in the morning, are going to be awoken to have first watch. Or not first watch, last watch, end of the night. Ugh. And then you all sat down for bed. You can all, if you didn't already at the end of last session, hit your long rest buttons now. Including... Hickory, who is the one who went to sleep and is the one who is waking up. I can tidal wave again. You can tidal wave again. Every time he wakes up, tidal wave. That's, that's just how we start off the mornings. <laughs> so, Hickory, <laughs> you are awoken by uh, uh, by Felix, one of the tw two uh, two human twins. And kind of shakes you awake, and he's like, "Hey, mm. it's your watch." Uh, okay, um, I'm okay. Coming. Like, it just immediately <laughs> start like starts drowsily shuffling her uh her stuff together, getting her armor on, still in that dress because she hasn't found a new shirt. Nope. Yeah. So you you get all set and arranged. You swap out with the twin. He takes his bunk directly above his brother. And you head back out onto the top deck, and it is dark still. The sun has not come up, and there's no light on the horizon indicating it's coming up anytime soon. Uh, pretty much the only lights are from the lanterns on the ship. They all, all of the glass is tinted this sort of bluish green, so even though it's just regular fire inside of them, there's this sort of eerie tint to the morning mists that surround you except for some orange light coming from the captain's cabin where it seems like Lorelai is already awake, but not out and about to play. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, it's just Eggold and Lachlan who are manning the ropes and making sure everything's going the correct direction. It's a real skeleton crew as you get up there. Good morning, Eggold. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's morning. Fuck. Yeah. Why? Because I haven't gone to bed yet. Why? I don't know. My sleep schedule's fucked. 
all of the planes changing and then we're here one place and on a different ship and I have to do the night shift, but I have to do the day shift. It's... It's hard. Uh, okay, um... When I was Harmon's first mate, you know what I had to do? I... I... Just, I just had to not get shot. I just had to not get shot. Who ran All the I ship? Had... What do you mean? If that was everybody's task, because it seems like it was everybody's task, who ran, like, who, who made sure everything got done? Well, here's the thing. If things didn't get done, we, you know... You get shot. Would... No, 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 no. We would be stuck out in the middle of the ocean because something went bad with the boat. And we'd be stuck out there with Harmon. So we all made sure our jobs got done. Okay. Yeah. Well, what do you need me for? There's a crow's nest. Mm hmm I need you to climb up there. Mm hmm And I need you to make sure we don't run into anything. Okay. Jeez. That's it. All right. She goes, immediately just goes over to the crow's also, nest. Also, if another ship is on the horizon, tell us so we can put... All of the lights out, because I'm not fucking around with another weather-changing sorcerer. Noted. Okay. And she start, like, starts climbing up the ladder. Do you want to do anything to pass the time while you're up there? Or are you uh, just going to continue to be vigilant? Let's see. What do, what do I have? You know, we'll, oh. we'll do a good old religious girl morning routine. We'll say, we'll say a prayer. And, uh... And then we'll we'll just toy around with the two little, uh, two little ice home gadgets that I have. Okay. You know, keeping an eye out, but just kind of like passively using your hands. Make a perception check. Okie doke. Mr. Uh, Dia. One sec. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. Okay, go. I was gonna say, uh. Up on the crow's nest is also where Dolus's uh, stinky robe is. Uh, it's where stationed. Dolus's stinky robe was. It is not there when she climbs up. Uh oh, sick. Okay, well I've it's it's seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't notice Great. anything. Great. I love Good. I love those. I love those perception <laughs> rolls. Um, all right. I mean, you know, I already you're, said what I'm doing to pass the time. You're good. You're fiddling with your, your fun little things. You do your prayer and everything, and it's just dark horizon for a long while. And then the wind takes a strange turn. It suddenly is, it was sort of coming from northward, mm -hmm. and now suddenly it's coming from behind you, and it's speeding up a lot. Like it's starting to, it's starting to whip at your hair, out of nowhere, and it's suddenly coming from a completely different direction. Mm -hmm. Hey, Eggold. Yeah. I haven't spent a lot of time at sea, but does the wind just suddenly change directions and get a lot stronger? Yeah, a lot of the time. Why? Uh, this just feels. D intense for right. that. Make another perception check. Okay. Ooh, 18 plus 3, 21. 21, okay, successful. Hooray, hooray. Ooh. You're looking around now and you realize um, ahead of you in the distance there, the water seems to kind of keep going and then you see like mountains on the horizon okay but there's something strange about them there's there's almost like light coming off of them eggold yeah we're we close to land i uh, like time no. wise okay well there's land in front of us and it's glowing shade steps a day north <laughs> Well, there's land in front of us. Looks like mountains, and it's glowing. Eggle goes to the front of the ship, and he pulls out his spyglass, and he's just like, what the fuck? And then the rest of you 
are woken moments later by the ringing of a bell. Uh, I'll... I'll kind of, like, knock on, like, my, my bed and just, like, shut up. Mm. You're just knocking on the bed saying shut up quietly to yeah. yourself? <laughs> yeah. Not, not, uh, not every... even quietly, just, like... Yeah, you know, everyone in the room is hearing voice. Mara just boom, 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 shut <laughs> up, boom, boom, shut <laughs> up. Is the ringing like in the room or is it like on no, the top? It's there? the bell up top, like the warning okay. bell up top is ringing. Dolus just kind of groggily like gets up, just looks like turns out of bed. Is it now? A lotus in Dolus's bed just kind of turns over towards oh, yeah. the wall. Turns towards the wall. All the NPCs are moving a lot quicker than you guys because they seem to. The bell is for emergencies. And they're taking yeah. it seriously. So Dolus you guys sees, have everybody rushing around you. Dolus sees Lotus turn back over, and he kind of just starts like nudging her, like, "Lotus, this usually means trouble. Get up." Mm, no. <laughs> Lotus starts he keeps like nudging her uh, just a little bit stronger every time. I'll get up if you wear the pirate hat. <laughs> That's good blackmail. That's a good one. Dolus reaches into his bag, <laughs> pulls out the 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 tri point hat. He puts it on his head. Lotus like turns over and just immediately gets up and is like, okay, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Twink, what you up to? Uh, apparently spitting our luscious hair out of my mouth because it definitely got in there while I was sleeping. Oh yeah, there's a lot of she's got very long hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and you laid her down in this really nice position, you remember? And when you got in, she was still in it, but now as you're waking up, she is like sprawled out like an arm across you her legs in weird angles and she again is just like with some drool out of the corner of her I mouth smack in the top of her head hey are you awake there's there is no response how the <laughs> fuck <laughs> whatever and just hop out of the bed <laughs> Mara, I'm still, like, are I'm still you like picking? I'm still like picking the hairs off of me as I get out of the bed. I was gonna say I'm gonna walk over to Mara's bed as before, like walking up, make sure that Mara's awake and. You'll see that up. I have a pillow over my head, and <laughs> <laughs> like. I'm just gonna grab the pillow. <laughs> you lift the pillow up, and underneath it, next to Mara's head, is Plume, just like ah. Both of you get up. Rip it out of my hands. I'll do that. <laughs> Strength check. <Cool>. Tested. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who got worse? Did you four? beat a four K? I got a three. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the wimpiest the best part. The best yeah. part, I rolled a four minus one. Oh <laughs> I rolled god. a five minus one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the weaklings. Yes. <laughs> so he, Dolus goes to pull it and it comes up for a second and Plume does his little ah! And the bar immediately <laughs> boom, sit back down <laughs> and Plume again through it. You just go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start like nudging Mara's get up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, <laughs> please. Hey, Mara, what's your AC? <laughs> what is my what's your AC? Twelve. What? Plume bites your cheek because you're oh. holding into your face with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I like lift up the side that he's on. He just shoots out in front of you, Dolus. He's just like, ah! and then. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> As he lifts it up, I'm gonna try to grab the pillow. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Are straight again. contested. <laughs> oh, that's hey. a lot better. No, that's not that much. Better. <laughs> yeah, no, I got Ooh. a 16. I almost yep. had a 20 and a, 
and I a 16. Almost had a 20. <laughs> but yeah, Mara, you lift it up and let plume out, but as you go to pull it back down, it just foom. As I rip it out, I have I use my left hand and I pour water on Mara's face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, with my face down? You pour it at the back uh, of my head? No, uh, yeah, I'm down, pouring it on the back down. of your head. <laughs> your hair's getting washed, probably for the first time in a long time. <laughs> 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 and I'll lift my head. Oh, that kind of felt good. It shape water. Get up! <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> you know, like a L'Oreal co commercial. <laughs> he has a whole big pillow. flip yeah. moment. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with the pillow and start walking away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's on brand. All right. <laughs> Amazing. I'm glad I'll we had that interaction. While I'm doing that, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're all getting up. Uh, Hickory, while you're, they're all getting up, yeah. Eggold ran forward, looked through the telescope, and then suddenly ran back and started burring in the bell without saying much of anything. Uh, e e Eggold, what am I? What, what am I supposed to do? Just stay up there and make sure we don't die. <laughs> okay. How do I make sure we don't die? Other than don't hit things. That's it. That's all we need right now. <laughs> and then he runs back to the captain's cabin and you watch him like open the door and shout something. And you hear Lorelai shouting back. And then you hear him shout again, even more angrily. Like he's not putting up with the shit right now. And then he runs to the helm and he grabs the wheel and he just jerks it. So all of you, as you're getting out of bed, I need you to make deck saves now that you're all up. Me too. 14? 10. Can, 10. I have a can, I, can I use a lucky point? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try? To use a lucky point? Yeah. Yes. I do. You cannot use a lucky point. Oh. Fucking god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cryo. Yeah. Do I need to make one? Yeah. Can we say because I saw Eggled run to the wheel, I get advantage? You know, yeah, I'll say you had enough time to grab onto something watching him go to just jerk that wheel to the side. Cool. It didn't help. <laughs> I rolled oh, an boy. 11. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make this real easy. Who got higher than 12? Okay. Would you like to know that I rolled a natural one? Ooh. But, you know, you only said higher than a 12, so. I did only say, I did only say higher than a 12. Uh, Mara, you've sort of adjusted to the swish of the boat. And Lotus, your balance is impeccable. So as the boat suddenly careens to one side, Lotus, it's really easy for you to just like slide a foot out and catch yourself. Slide to the left. And Mara, you kind of just like gently grab the side of your bed that you're still next to and just like it lean with it <laughs> while still messing with my hair <laughs> but twink and dolis you are both knocked prone oh i have a feeling this is about to hurt and uh twink you're knocked prone pretty close to your bed so i love this uh our lashna rolls off your bed onto you. <laughs> so let's see. Dolus, that is three points of bludgeoning damage. Sick. And you're prone. And Twig, uh, that is going to be uh three and four points of bludgeoning damage from falling in our lash and a landing atop you. <laughs> Get someone to help. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll I'll get the water out of my hair and then just um kind of like lift her back in and then I'm gonna thorn whip and like kind of like you know hold her down. <laughs> you're just kind of like tying her. You're getting tie downs with yeah. vines. There's yeah. no way that doesn't do damage. Totally. <laughs> <Damage>. <laughs> there's, there's no way that doesn't do damage. But that's an issue for Awake Arlashna, who's currently not here. <laughs> he kills her. So yeah, 
Arlashina's laying there and just has, like, vines crisscrossing <laughs> her torso. He fails her first death save. We never <laughs> knew. <laughs> Our last actually only has one hit point. <laughs> you have killed her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she'll Twink, be fine you there. have been uh, you have been freed. <gasps> God, she's heavy. Hickory. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. You are thrown over the railing. Yeah. I will let you make one more deck save with disadvantage to grab the railing. It's an 18 on the first one. It's, it's an at one. Ooh. You go over the side and you go to grab it and you totally think you have it, but there seems to be like some oil kind of substance <laughs> on the rim and you just... <laughs> can I cast feather, feather Falling as a reaction? You can. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you start tumbling head over Full heels, circle. and suddenly you just whoom and slow down, and just descend slowly <laughs> to the deck. The just, it's a good thing I practiced that. <laughs> all the rest of the crew is running up. All the NPCs are running up now. Uh, to like. Eggled is shouting orders for them all to go to the ropes. Lorelai's coming out. Her hair is kind of disheveled, but she's fully, fully dressed. Unfortunately, I know. What a waste. Are the rest of y'all coming up? Yeah. Yeah, no, don't okay. like, gets up from falling. He's kind of like g gets up, like kind of all embarrassed, like <clears throat> just like wipes, just brushes himself off. You good, bro? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I can I can tie you with vines too. You need it. I I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So as you guys start coming out, uh, Lotus I imagine is going to be first because just who she is. And the moment she, the moment Eggold sees you, he's just Lotus. Get your brother. Tie off those two sails. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to not be open. Okay. Lois. Mm. We're doing a thingy. What thingy? We have to tie a thingy. What thingy? I think he said sails. Okay. That one specifically like points at the four sail. Okay. How do I do that? T pick it up, put it on top, and tie a knot. All right. Lotus is gonna go over and like over here. It's <laughs> trying to figure it out. Abdullah okay. will do as Eggold instructed. Twink comes up. Eggold is like, Twink, can you? Um. <laughs> so it takes a moment to process that you're a gnome. <laughs> when he's like. Just, just come up here. <laughs> just come. Mara! <laughs> Mara, I hate to say this. It's going to fill you with so much joy. I need you at the bow, and I need you ready to tidal wave. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> Wait, I have, an I have another thing I can do. Um, I, ca I can blow the sails. We do not want the sails blown right now. Oh, I mean, I could blow them the other way. And we'll see. Gonna put the boat in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> and just like stop it. So, yeah. What, uh, what, are we, what, what are you feeling? What do you want? Wave? Tidal wave. Tidal wave. Tidal wave is the plan. All right. Birds. Are you go? Are you flying up to that sail and grabbing it as told? I need both of you to make survival checks for your knots. Oh, easy. Hey, we're good at that. Yeah. yeah. We're good at that. I, I couldn't tell if that was sarcastic, right? No, it wasn't. We have no. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. I got an eighteen. Perfect. Twenty-four. Perfect. Twelve plus yes. six. <laughs> Birds, you fly up and you start tying these things off. 
uh, really quickly. And you you look up as you're in the middle of tying these things, and you see the thing that Hickory saw earlier with the water seeming to suddenly hit an edge, but you're getting closer to it now. And you realize what Hickory thought were mountains are just spikes of water coming out as the water suddenly just arcs upward and this huge wind is pulling it all. Oh, yeah. Huh? Huh. Hey, Eggold, is there a bump on my head? Is there a what? (laughs) Yeah, right here. Do you see a knot? No, and then he throws the wheel the other direction <laughs> to get the ship <laughs> to list. It's okay. You're all kind of on top deck and ready at this point. So the tip, the birds don't even have to roll. They're flying. Yeah. And the rest of you kind of stumble, but you're you're good. You're up. He shouts up. Uh, he shouts down to Hickory. He's like, Hickory! Yeah! Anchor with Lachlan! <laughs> he points okay. to the, the big winch in the middle runs over to it ready ready to go whenever okay birds you're getting extremely close to this arc up of water it's coming very quickly the wind is dragging you and either which way eggled throws the wheel the boat is still being pushed in that direction like when you say arcs of water what do you mean i mean it looks like you know how you know how an infinity pool goes down suddenly? Yeah. Imagine oh. that if it went up suddenly. It's an inside oh. out whirlpool. Okay. So it's, like it's just of a wall of water straight upwards. Like cool. a solid like fifty feet or so until it did, like evaporates into mist by all this wind. Is this a hurricane? I it's well, it is a literal like wall. A literal okay. out, out of nowhere. There's no direction. special clouds. It goes as far as you guys can see in either direction. I am going to uh, take a moment, take that in. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, and then I'm gonna look over to the crow's nest <laughs> to see if I see my cloak over there. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> because I'm up where it like in the air near like the that velocity, not velocity, that altitude. <laughs> You don't see your cloak there. The Lotus is gonna look over and those and look back at the wall of water. He's like, "That looks bad. That looks really bad, doesn't it? It looks uh, really, yes. really, really bad." Um, she's just gonna fly down to Eggle. It's like, so. Yeah, um... I know. <laughs> so. Lockley <laughs> 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 Hickory, drop it. Got it. Dex check. Cool. Do you need me to do anything? This time, it's a 12. (laughs) Well, luckily for you, Lachlan rolled a nat 20, so you go to pull the winch, and you kind of stumble over your own hand, but it doesn't matter, because this big Goliath just rips the fucking winch. The anchor comes down and slaps into something far beneath you, and the whole boat starts to go forward. And then Mara... Eggled shouts at you to cast Tidal Wave. Yeah! So, <laughs> so, because I was thinking about the wind a little bit too hard, and I was, like, excited about, like, producing wind, I'm going to accidentally cast, like, Wind Wall instead because I was, like, I was really thinking about it. Oh, boy. Guys. Mara just TPK'd us. This is just, like, a really, like, roundabout way of, like, when someone chooses to fail a roll. This is, like, I actually cast the wrong spell. (laughs) It's actually worse, because he also burned a spell slot. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah, so. You cast wind wall on this giant wall of water and wind. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he does. (laughs) What shape do you want for wind wall? Uh, just a, a flat wall, because I was like, I was also thinking about a wave at the same time, so I'm just like thinking like flat, go that direction. Okay. I need you all to make strength oh. saves. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm good at those. Literally all of you, Mara, you're included in this. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a 21. Even if I was still in the air. 
Hang on. Oh, yeah, no. 16! <laughs> Who rolled higher than 16? Who rolled 16 or higher? I got a natural oh, wait, 20. Yeah. Mara, you roll for damage. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Huh? It's 3d8. You roll for what damage. What do you think was gonna happen, Pulse? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what is hitting me? Why am I taking damage? You hit us? <laughs> What'd you roll for damage? 14. 14? Okay. So the ship. Eggold had this plan that a sudden bulge of water was going to be the last little break you guys needed. And instead you smash into this wall of violent air that sort of like rocks the ship in one direction and then the other. Dolus, Twink, you both immediately take bludgeoning damage as the wind slams you into something nearby. Dolus, one of the masts and Twink, probably the 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 railing in front of the helm. Awesome. And then somewhere beneath you, the anchor, not having that extra little bit of break it needs. It catches tight, but it kind of drags, and the whole ship bra like breaks through this seemingly rising wall of water into just an empty trench. <laughs> like there's no water. <laughs> there is no water, and the ship immediately and starts like like surfboarding down this break of just a, a like a 30 degree wall of water downward oh. you <laughs> fucked us you <laughs> single-handedly fucked us pulse i'm going to slowly drop concentration <laughs> no, it's oh, not yeah. slow you got hit by your own spell wait oh, I'm, oh, 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 I'm, oh okay fucked. are we all taking the full brunt of that damage Oh, uh, no. So, uh, the three of you who rolled successfully are taking half damage, so it's seven. Okay, cool. That's cool. I'm, yeah. And now you are all in not quite free fall, but you are all definitely going significantly faster and in a downward direction. Mm. I'd like mm. to start flying. <laughs> You're I'd on. like to rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to beat the oh. shit out of Mara while we're falling. You both open your wings, birds, to catch the air properly, and the ship is like... Dolus, are you going to open your wings to catch the wind and not go down. I'm going to need you to make a deck save because you're at the front of the boat, so there are masts that are going to be flying past you. Am I at the front of the boat? Yeah, you went to, to fix the foresail and then you never went back, so. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, that is... I've... Uh, huh? I have a plus what pulse? <laughs> what pulse? Okay, no, Lotus, no, no, no. you pulse? flew to the back, so you're good. <laughs> um. So yeah, both the birds, you open your wings and just the ship going very fast just whooshes out from under you. It is immediately, like, gaining distance from you down this slope. And you see, it's like the... It is like Moses parted the yeah. sea. Like, it is... There is just the suddenly bottom. ground several hundred feet ahead of you. Mm. How far away is the more water? Like, the other side? Yeah. Uh, like, a, maybe a quarter of a mile. Okay. Oh. Cool. Dolus is just like Dolus is barely getting himself like stable because he just got like slammed into a mast. He's like, <coughs> oh, that's not good. Yep. Is I don't think there's anything we can do about that, right? Absolutely not. Okay, let's just follow them. <laughs> let's I'll watch slightly from afar. Okay. <laughs> Hickory, Lachlan, like, grabs you and grabs onto a mast. Okay, cool. As you Thanks. guys are just oh. staring down at, like, the ocean bottom rushing up to meet you. Hickory's just a standing bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm like, a bunch of NPCs around you are basically just like, ah! <laughs> Lorelai is, is gripping the railing next to you, Twink. Twink, you're a little... You, you've been hit in the head twice today now. <laughs> Imagine you're Slightly a little out of it. You've been awake ten minutes. 
I'm gonna say I'm probably definitely concussed. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Eggles holding the the wheel as hard as he can. He like looks down at you, Twig, and he's like, "I don't want to die next to you." <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Pulse. <laughs> I'm gonna Jesus. fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why was it okay. glowing? You'll see. Cryo. Yeah. So, like, am I not feeling any, like, Kylie presence? Nope. Damn. So, uh... So yeah, the boat's careening down. It's approaching the bottom. I have a question. Yeah. This is going to be very not with the rules, but if I use every single one of my spell slots, will you let me feather fall the whole boat? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask the same exact thing, Ian. I was going to ask the same exact thing. It's like, can I overclock a spell? <laughs> I'll let you feather fall all the NPCs. Nah, not, not worth. the physical boat. <laughs> not worth. We just <laughs> die at sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So well, with that being said, I'm gonna pull that key out, open it up, and jump inside the other dimension <laughs> portal. <laughs> you were how you were you you were fucking with Eggle. You do remember him? Yeah, you can pull the key out as your reaction and jump in that door. <laughs> So yeah, Eggled screaming coming up at the bottom of this. Tweak suddenly there's a door next to the helm and Eggled's just like, what? And Tweak is gone and closing the door behind him. And see Mara at the helm. You're the one who notices this first. A little, like a flash of blue sprints past you. Flash of blue. A flash of blue. And Sonic? it's Maya. She grabs onto the front rope and she just does something. You can't tell. She like thwips it and pulls it. And that sail, the bird's tied up, drops and she twists it. And suddenly it turns. And the whole boat kind of angles differently. Are we Tokyo drifting? <laughs> <laughs> Are we Tokyo drifting? <laughs> and then she looks you dead in the face and she says, cast the right spell. And she's like holding this sail with her own body weight. I'll immediately tidal wave. <laughs> so you tidal wave. Hang on. <clears throat> okay. A huge rush of water comes up just as you guys are about to hit the bottom and catches the lip of the boat. And you all feel the most obnoxious scraping sensation <laughs> underneath you and the sound of like muck and mud spewing up as the boat drags to a stop on what was recently the ocean floor. And everybody kind of like tilts back the way you do as a car is stopping and then just boom. Hickory is still screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Birds, you guys watch the boat, which was going down at sort of a sideward side angle, adjust itself forward and then boosh onto the mud like a couple hundred feet below you guys. And then it just slides like 60 feet before it comes to a stop. The lotus flies down and is like, are you guys alive? Are you, I guess the better question is, is anybody dead? Has you know, anyone like, died? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> they won't fall off. Hickory kind of taps Lachlan's arm to let her go, because with that much strength, he's probably choking her a little bit now. Oh, no, he was, like, holding her. Oh, okay. Just, just yeah, taps. <laughs> he just lets you go. You just she drop. Walks, she walks over to Mara and goes, this is from Doc, and she right hooks him. <laughs> Make a melee attack. Cool. Uh, this is ooh, what's my person. what's my melee modifier? Uh, yeah, that's a twenty six. Oh, to hit. Yeah, and that's five damage. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you get punched pretty solid in the fucking nose. Maya, who's still like holding that sail, just kind of like lets the rope slack and then just like falls down like 12 feet into the muck and just like. <laughs> <laughs> Eggled turns to the door next to him and fucking opens it. Twink. You just ate a cube of water and he's just like. I kind of poke my head out and kind of look around. We didn't die. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Neither did I. <laughs> Laura I, like leads around. She's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Do you Come have magic out, doors? Close the door and put the key back in the bag. The door vanishes as you turn the key and she's like, you have a magic key to open magic doors. Oh, it's just a key. How many keys you got? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna worry about it. That's unfortunate. Are you guys dead? Nope. No. no. <clears throat> Don't think it's tomorrow. Starts glaring through the <laughs> through the railing because I can't see over it. <laughs> <laughs> and gold like leading all the wheelchairs. You and he's like, I have to cast one spell. The spell you like casting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was. I was excited to try some wind for once, man. Everyone on the boat is like, uh, because the boat went through your wall of <laughs> air. Everyone on the boat got hit by that. Mm. It's okay. Don't I think I broke off. his nose. <laughs> Nobody fell off the boat. <laughs> it's a mirror. Dolus, are you looking down at the boat? There is a rope tied to the back of it that you can see now that it's no longer underwater, and there is a matted dark fabric object about 50 feet behind the boat now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'll fly over to the uh, the object. It's your cloak. Uh, yeah, I Very waterlogged. <laughs> Is it still black? So... You get the idea that it was tossed in not not quite long enough for the, the dying process to set in perfectly. It is almost black, but then as you look around at it, it has like parts where you can see green sort of, and it has a even the black has kind of a green tint to it still. It's a pearlescent. Like a tie-dye? <laughs> kind of like a pearlescent thing, but with little okay. patches of proper green here and there. Mm. Well, this is just kind of holding it. He looks at it and he's like, you know, kind of like it. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of, as I'm flying up onto the top deck, just kind of like whipping it, like trying to like <laughs> get as much water off of it as I can. Lotus, what are you doing? Just kind of assessing the situation. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's fucked up, but they're up. And then land next to, like, Twink, Eggold, and um, Lorelai's like, so... Lotus, I need you to kick the shit out of Mara. <laughs> We're gonna beat him to death! <laughs> <laughs> this is how Mara goes out. Not in a blaze of glory, but the entire crew beats him to death like the JoJo meme. Can I punch you, like, once? I already got punched. Stop it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't have to punch him then. No, you do. You definitely still need to punch him. He needs to get his head fucking clear before he kills all of us. <laughs> Dolus lands on the top deck, like, near. He's like, no, no, I've got this. And he holds up his cloak. And he starts, like, wrapping it up. Oh, and, like, no. Like he We're going to red tail him! He's <laughs> <laughs> like, Mara, I'm going to hit you with this. If you want it to hurt less, take the water out. Yeah, I was already going to shape water. <laughs> <laughs> he shapes water, takes the water out, and then Dolus lets it go, and he puts the cloak on. <laughs> he just wanted him to dry oh. it off. Mama, you're like already holding this kind of kind of gross water off to the side, and then just oh, 
<laughs> all right, if you all won't do it, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> I cast magic missile at him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mara, do you have shield? No. <laughs> you get magic missile. <laughs> Twink roll damage. What level? <laughs> It's okay. Uh, just regular level one. Just for some. You say it's a okay. cantrip. <laughs> oh, 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 only three. Only three. <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> you deserve it. You you <laughs> fucked us up. You almost killed all of us. <laughs> for real, dude. Maya coming in was was cryo going. This is a TPK. I rolled 12, for that. <laughs> 12, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, Tamara, you're waiting for that punch from Dolus and it doesn't come, and you're like, oh, and then you just hear Tweak off to the side, be like, fine, I'll do it. And then as you turn, just bah, 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 <laughs> three magic <laughs> missiles to the face. <laughs> Did your fucking head clear now. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Guys? How do we get out of this? That's a great fucking question. Lorelai's like looking up at the walls of water around you, like 600 feet tall. <laughs> Just like, it's really good that we're not in a deeper part of the ocean. Hmm. Are there uh -huh. coral reefs around? <laughs> you want to make a perception check for the trench? Fuck yeah, I do. Would she know that, though, I guess is the question. It would be the first time anyone's actually seen a coral reef in this campaign. <laughs> um, that is a 13. It's a lotus. You, like, look out one direction in the trench, and you see... Like various levels of rocks and crags and muck, and it looks like at some points the rocks get like taller than the ship. But you guys landed in a really solid, like, not sand because it's at the bottom of the ocean, so it's silt and muck, but like really soft spot, luckily. Then you look to the other side, and there's coral. Are you as far as the eye can see? <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Whatever, I'm sorry. Man. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it should that shouldn't be here. It doesn't make sense. Oh, coral! And I'll start running towards it. <laughs> you jump. Why do you act like it's the first boat? time you've ever seen it? <laughs> I didn't know Mara was a Walking <laughs> Dead fan. I'll, I'll, mo I'm, I'll motion over the birds. I'm flying what? over. Coral. Mara, are you staying on top of the boat and pointing, or are you jumping down and running to the coral? I'm jumping down and running to the coral. You are on rough terrain, and your speed is halved as you land in the muck. <laughs> Dolus, Dolus gets uh, like goes over onto the railing, and he looks down at Mara, and he thinks for a second. And I'm going to jump off and swoop down. And fly by Mara and glare at him as I pass by, and then keep flying off towards the coral. <laughs> Coral's only like a hundred feet off to the left of the ship, the port of the ship. Lotus, help! Lotus is already there. <laughs> it's kind of leaning over the railing, just like <clears throat> it's not bright coral. It's not like a big, lively, amazing coral reef, but there's coral. <laughs> and I pull out my sketchbook. <laughs> pull out like a little bit of paint on my finger and start like trying to get the idea of coral <laughs> into I, my sketchbook. Can I shape water around me to unmerk this terrain? You want to try that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> Mara's going to have zero spell slots after this. That's a cancer. Okay. Oh, shape right. water is a cancer. You start right. shaping water and you pull the water out of the cube around your feet. Your feet are now about a foot deep in sand. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. I'm you, can try to like... you can get them loose. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, you get your feet loose and then you start shaping water in front of you. Twink, Hickory, the rest of the crew are all kind of just standing at the side of the ship at this point, looking out at you, walk into the coral, your struggles. And Eggold, Eggold is just sitting there like. 
Why? Okay? I why? Sh- why? I don't know, but I hope something eats him. Are there like flopping fish around? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like this reef, this this coral reef had a bad time. So we flopping. have. So this looks like it was probably pretty fresh then. If all the fish are still flop, like kicking around. And I mean, stuff. they're not like flopping like they were just there, but there are dead fish and like some are twitching. It's I not like so. the water was just sucked out, but it is no more than it like is, an hour. No more than like the night. Okay. Uh. What well, I. Eggle's like, I'm going to make sure the ship's not broken. He just grabs one of the safety ropes and slides over the edge. <laughs> how um, how far are we down? Like, How far down is it? You look up. It's like... Give me a moment. Mm, you're looking at like... 10, maybe... 15 times as tall as the ship is at the tallest point above you. Hmm. It's not a perfect like wall of water. It's like a slope, kind of like a shallow V or a U down to the bottom. And yeah, it is. It's 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 fucking windy down here. It fucking windy. <laughs> it fucking windy down here. <laughs> Look, Mara, I drew the coral. You muted. muted. I said, "Oh, it's beautiful." What do you What do you think of it? It's it's cool. There's a lot of fish. It's pretty. Oh, uh, these fish. I'm, I feel a little bad for these fish, though, but. The way you I described can't. it, I figured it would be a lot more saturated, I suppose. Saturated? Oh, you mean like vibrant? Brighter. Or brighter? Yes. Yeah. A little dark in the ocean. Uh, it, it's prettier underwater. Typically when mm. the sun can like hit on it. But you know, it's a little, little, little murky, you know? <laughs> Well, it's not murky right now at all. There's no water. Kinda. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Hickory kind of so, turns. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna. The doll just like so. What did this? What do you two think? Magic. I guess. I assume magic. Probably another portal. Just like Twink Tanya. Oh. I suppose, but... But like a line? Do we think... I, well... I have a weird feeling hmm. that like worlds are converging and atmospheres. Maybe even the stars. Well, I don't know. <laughs> they might be getting closer. I'm I don't scared. Think Wait, wait, I'm gonna go ask Twink something. <laughs> Lotus is gonna fly back to the ship. Okay. Lotus flies back to the ship. <laughs> Twink! Before... Okay. Oh, go ahead. No, I, was just... I was gonna say, before, like, you know, you guys are doing your whole thing in the coral, and Hickory kind of turns to Twink and goes, Do we have any idea on, fig- like, any way to figure out what did this? How to undo it? <laughs> No. Probably magic. Ah, uh, natural phenomenon, I'd say. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, she's like, I could dispel magic, maybe, but I don't know if I could do it for an entire boat. No, if if it's this big, uh. It would all just dispelling it. No, dispelling it would probably not be possible for us at the moment. Hmm. <gasps> well, crap. 
<laughs> so. <sighs> I'm just kind of sitting on the ground, cross-legged. I'm thinking of a few of ideas that we can, I don't know, maybe escape. Mara, <laughs> you, you're trying to explain how coral should be bright and colorful to Dolis, who's not really having it. <laughs> and then in the, in, you're in the middle of talking, you catch something out of the, the corner of your eye amongst the coral moving. You go to look for it, and it's gone. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. What is it? <laughs> you see that? See what? Did, did I get, like, a color flash or anything? Mm, it's like a dark blue. Uh, like dar dark bluish. I, I saw something flash before my eyes. Back to the boat we go. I'm not risking anything, especially with how beaten up we both are. Can you carry me, Nicholas please? Gonna pick Mara up. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> with the board, Leslie picks him up and flies him over to the boat. Okay. Twink, you're sitting there thinking, and they're flying back, and Walk suddenly comes up the stairs, and he's like, What the fuck was that? What, what the fuck was that? Holy shit. Hi. H hello. All right, who did it? And he like turns to all of you. <laughs> I'm innocent. This time, I guess. Twink Eggled shouts up towards you and Lorelai. He's like, "There aren't any breaches. It's still watertight." Oh, that's good. At least we lost our anchor, though. It ripped off the back. That sucks. Link. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, Lotus. You know how, like, forests have, like, bears and, like, squirrels and stuff? Yeah. Does the water have more than just fish? Sea bears. Yeah. Sea bears! Like <laughs> <laughs> Draw a circle, quick! Draw a circle. <laughs> Are they, like, big, big fish, like, the size of bears? Yeah. So, like, if we're in the middle of the ocean, wouldn't it be a bad thing if, like, a big, big fish came? Well, the good news is, there's no water here. Oh, that's true. What if they have legs, like lizards? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough from you today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lotus, be on the lookout for things with legs. Okay, you have legs. Okay. <laughs> Let's maybe things that shouldn't have legs that have legs. Okay, and he's just gonna turn around. He's gonna. Keep a lookout for things in the water that have legs. Cool. Like in the wall, in the wall of water behind you. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna slap my hands on my knees. Twig's gonna get up and walk down to the uh, the hold where all the materials and stuff are. He's gonna start okay. taking inventory to figure out what he has. Okay. Is the water yes, hey, Kree, I see clearly heading down or is it like there is a wall holding it all back it's it's like it's trying to come down and then gets whooshed up okay so there's a clearly like upward force on it got it yes okay cool that helps oh fuck. twink anyway lorelei comes down the stairs after you after a minute or so and she's just like so do you have any bright ideas for getting the boat out of here? Because I'm I'm running off of, like, I can count them on one hand, and they're not great ideas. Oh, I gotta see what I have first. I'm just kind of looking around. It's mostly wood. 
There's some scrap metal and stuff. There's all of those cannons that you had everybody rip off of every ship. And extra ballista that you had everybody rip off of every ship. And there's definitely enough wood to, like, repair the entire hull. Maybe 70% of it. But there's, there's you know, what about a couple extra tons. Sales? You do have extra sails. You're going to have an entire extra set of sails. I mean... Ideas, sure. I don't know if they'll work. What do you need? Well, first off, all these cannons and ballista gotta go. How can, how How go? Like, on ground, go and stay. All right. Uh, Second off, go ahead and use the wood that we have here to repair the hole. Got it. And whatever's left over, get rid of that, too. All right. She, like, it seems very downtrodden. And she goes up the stairs and you hear her shout orders. The rest of you hear her shout to start emptying the hold of everything. Eggled still inspecting things down below. And you're all kind of like watching all the NPCs form a, a line to hand a cannon, hand a cannon, hand a cannon, throw it off the side. <laughs> you guys well, can help. While you are doing that, <clears throat> I've got to go to sleep. I'll see y'all in six hours. <laughs> Felix in the middle of handing one off. He's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Twink, are you going to go to your bed and go to sleep? <laughs> I have to. Okay. Cool. Twink goes off, lies down to go to bed. The rest of you are daisy chaining these, all of these materials off the side of the boat, except Lotus, who's looking for fish that shouldn't have legs. Yeah, well, I mean, I was going to say, can I, during, like, cut back during Mara and Dolus's flight back, uh-huh. uh, Dolus is, like, flying a little slower than, than you would usually, and goes, Mara? Yeah? Do you want to tell me what happened? Uh, I wanted to use some wind for once. All people ever want you me to, to use, use is, is water. <laughs> I, uh, well, I see you seem to like to use water from what I've seen. Yeah, and then you know this this was something new, you know. Right. You know, sometimes you want to try something new. I this is clearly the wrong time to do that, but man. Right, I I, I understand, Mara. Just you know, in some seemingly life or death situations uh, it is pertinent that we listen to those who uh, are giving the orders you know especially on a ship where you know we like we, me and you i feel like we have a a similar amount of knowledge about ships which is not much i was going to say not really <laughs> Just... yeah you know uh, this is like the first time that i've i've had to you know, li listen to like other people, though. Really, I just kind of, kind of flow, you know. Right. I yes. I mean, I understand. I, I lived in the like woods. Water. Oh. Right. I, I lived in the woods for <sighs> uh, almost a year. Didn't really listen to anyone. Um, but you know, I sometimes I did we to need animals, to. Though. Okay. Well, listen to instructions. Sometimes we need need to listen to people. I just wanted to gauge uh, whether or not this was really a, ma a malicious action that you did. And oh, it seems no. it was not. No. Oh. Yeah, I, I like you guys. I like I me too. <laughs> Don't worry. We like you too, Mara. <laughs> I I can feel that and I'll rub my like nose. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all doing the day? Who's who's all getting in on the daisy chain as the two of them fly <laughs> back with their powwow? I'm not getting in on daisy. Yeah, I was about to say okay. I'm not helping at all. Lotus isn't. Is Hickory gonna get in? Yeah. Mara, when you get dropped off, are you gonna get in? I'm gonna sulk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Mara kind of sits off to the side next to Lotus. Eggold <laughs> is sitting next to him. Eggold is still down below. He had he had one of the twins come down with him, and they're looking at how they can fix the side of the ship. Lotus, you're staring back, like behind the ship at the wall of water. Okay, make a perception check. Yeah, plus four, so nineteen. Okay, cool. You see sharks with legs coming. <laughs> 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 no, you're you're staring at this water, and it is it's. Like, I mean, you can see fish and, like, things moving in the water. It's actually really pretty. Like, you're like, wow, you can't get a lot of details. Most of them are just shapes. Seems like a lot of them don't want to get too close to whatever the fuck is going on. But, like, it's pretty. You're really enamored, and you're like, oh, wow, this is great. And then down below you, you hear Eggle just be like, um, guys? What? And you turn to your side, and there's just, like, 40 Sahagin in the muck between you guys and the coral. What? <laughs> Wait, what's a Sahagin? Sahagin. Uh, oh, oh, right, you weren't there. Fish people. Yeah, they're fish you, people. So they're fish people. Imagine not watching so, the first 10 episodes. <laughs> so so I see the Sahagin, right? Yeah, you t- like Lotus turns first, and then you turn, and then everyone, the whole daisy chain slowly turns. And yeah, there is just I'm dozens Immediately of running down. I'm really running down to go get Twink. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I'm waving at the Sahagin. They're all just kind of staring up at you. <laughs> and you look down and angled, and Felix are like clutched to the side oh. of the boat. <laughs> the Lotus is going to fly down, so she's in, f- in between the Sahagins and everybody else. It's like, Hi. One of the big ones with, like, four arms proper, kind of steps forward to you and looks at you. And he's just like, what business? Well, we kind of fell. We were traveling to some place. And then there was this wall, this, this wall of water. And then now we're in this hole and we can't get out. Even though I think everybody wants to. And he's like squinting at you. And you see his his little where nostrils would be, and there are like all these slits, just kind of like. Mmm. You smell like magic. Us? Me? Mmm. Well, I guess I've been told that I'm like a magic creature from another plane, which I guess it makes sense. What does magic smell like? Sharp. Like a knife? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll take more showers. So Lotus has this discussion with the (laughs) Swaggin while Dolus goes running to get Twink. Twink, you are falling asleep like you're just getting to sleep. Dolus runs down and immediately runs to Twink's bed and starts shaking him. Bog Slayer, get up! There's the Hoggin. There are That's... Sahagin outside. What? They're okay. Are they friendly? We don't know. What do you want me to do? We, they respect you. I don't know them. They might know you. Uh, I have to sleep, Dolus. This is very important. But, oh, <laughs> but... The Sahagin people <laughs> just pointing back behind me. <laughs> Go find out what they want and they come back. Oh, you gotta, I need to rest. Oh, no, all right. And Dolus <laughs> sprints back. You sprint back and you come up, and the biggest Sahagin is still there talking to Lotus. And he's like, You can smell it from far <laughs> away. It's, oh, it's it lingers. <laughs> Like I see muck. Lotus. I was just saying, I see Lotus like right next to him. I'm like, oh, what the, and I just like, <laughs> over the railing. <laughs> the entire like all of the crew is just like, what the fuck? Like they're all like taking defensive <laughs> positions, except Lorelai and Wak, who are really just like, mm-hmm. 
and come down. The Swaggin sees you jump down, and they're all just like, ah! <laughs> No, 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 it's okay, that's my brother. He smells like magic. Yeah, because he's like me. Dolores, we should take more showers. What? I, I don't... It, apparently, Stinky. magic smells like a knife, so then it's like, it's like, and apparently it lingers, so maybe we should take more showers so that we don't smell like knife. Uh, okay. I will proceed to smell myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're all in earshot of this. Yeah. <laughs> Lotus is going to turn back to Sog and like, so what are you guys doing here? Mm. We do not get visitors. Oh. Oh, so this is kind of like your home. Mm, that way. <laughs> he like points back into the coral. Wait, oh. is this trench normal? Mm, full moon. Trench. Oh, so like, so when there's a full moon, the trench is created. But then. I think, I think the consensus of everybody is that just, we just want to get out of here. So does that mean in the morning when there is no full moon anymore, we get to go? Mmm. The full moon magic. It's. Like your scent lingers for a few days. Oh, the full so moon has passed, but the trench remains for... Mm. And he turns to another one and he starts speaking to them in Sahagin for a bit. And the other one's just like, you call them a week. Oh. Mm. So does that mean we're stuck here for a week? You're stuck here for two more days. <laughs> oh, so then when the water comes back, does it, it like... is a violent, rapturous occasion. So does that mean we're gonna get crushed by the water after two days, or does it like whoop rather than poop? Mm. <laughs> they talk in Sahagin again, and then he turns back to you. And he just goes, Rup. "Ooh, oh, uh oh." I have a question for <laughs> you, Sahagan. Like the people. entire audience just turns <laughs> to you at once. Just <laughs> <laughs> Have you all heard of the Fog Slayer? Like four dudes in the back just go. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> they all like turn to those four dudes who start like muttering to each other. And one of them is just like, yeah. The southern tribe speaks of the Fog Slayer. The oh. Fog Slayer is among our ranks. Yeah, he's here. I was the one who lifted him up and like showed it off to everybody. And she looks at the floor and is like, hi! Or the southern tribe doesn't speak of that. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. What legends do they speak of the Fog Slayer? He, he saved the southern temple. He returned it to the seabeds. Yes, he did. That's all. No, well, the fox right. player is on the boat. So, can... Hmm, can, can you guys help us try and find a way out? So that we can continue on our way? Hmm. And they all kind of like, what we do together, and then we're just like... Yay! They said they Thank would you. Oh, yes, that's. <laughs> <laughs> we do not like outsiders in our domain, but we are not savage. Oh. The southern tribe would eat you. Yeah, they oh. tried. Yeah, they oh. tried. It didn't work. Now they speak of you in legend. Yeah. We're cool. They attacked us, and then we. We, we held off their attack and proceeded to save their domain as an act of mercy. Mm -hmm. Kindness. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so if, if the water is going to whoop onto us in two Tomorrow days, night. Oh, tomorrow night. Then, like, how will, how, how, how do we get, how do we not become crushed under lots and lots of water 
before we, tomorrow night. We cannot carry your ship. It is too big. Yeah. Mm. We could beseech the temple for aid. The temple? The northern temple. Oh. Do you think the temple I... will be able to help us not be whooped by the water? Temple. The temple can do all. And then they're all just like... <laughs> oh. Is the temple far? Can we get there and do a thingy and then come back before tomorrow night? They point into the wall of water that the ship is, like, in the direction of. Just that way. Well, okay. There's a problem. If we were to come with you, we can't breathe under the water. Can't breathe under the water? No. no. I can fly, but I can't breathe under the water. You can't Very breathe sad. under the water. You can't breathe. They start talking in Sahagat again, and one of, like a few of them are just like... <laughs> I can. Oh. I, I can. <laughs> he can breathe under the water. They got pointed him. He's also the reason we're here. Two of them come forward and pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> and they just carry you back towards the coral. <laughs> Pulse, what what creature do you want to shape shift it to since you cannot shape shift <laughs> into a Sahagan? I was gonna wait till I was close. Like, if it wasn't a Sahagan, then I was gonna wait until I was closer to the water to go okay. into a shark. Okay. Well, they're not <laughs> taking you to the water. They're taking you into the coral. <laughs> so you oh, guys wait, watch. So. You guys watch as they're just like, and Mara's like laying back. Like they picked him up and laid him. These two <laughs> Swagan who are like marching him into the coral out of eyesight. Um. Did you just kidnap my friend? Ah, he will be fine. Okay. We'll make sure he's I ready don't... for the journey. What journey? Into the temple. How, How far into the, the water is the temple? Mm -hmm. mm. Your measurement's strange. The sun would go from there to there. Oh, so uh, uh, How long can you be yeah. an animal? He is gone. They took him into the coral. He is gone. <laughs> They walked away with the man. Can can we come with you? Can you can breathe we... underwater? No, but I want to make then sure. Then you must be prepared properly and they pick you up. Oh, okay. Oh, but I mean, wait, I I'm going to follow it's... after them. <laughs> They're just no, carrying no, Lotus no, away. Dolus <laughs> is following. Oh, hi, Dolus. Hick, yeah, you want to come with us? I, I, I... Uh... Okay, bye. Twink? Oh, God dang it. No, don't wake up, Twink. He said he needs to sleep. <laughs> She's going to make sure they don't die. She's going with them. She's coming with. As you start off, before he could get far, you guys hear m movement in the muck. You turn, and Maya, like, covered in it because she flopped in it in exhaustion. It's just like, Ugh, breathing underwater. Uh, hello, I can Maya. do that. You could do that? Oh. Okay. I'm a water ganasi. Of course I can do that. You want to come with us? I'm still being She's carried like, away. Getting mud off of her. She's like, yes, yeah, yes. And she like runs after you. Okay, before Lotus is like out of eyesight from everybody from the ship, she's just going to yell out, we'll be back. <laughs> Eggold, who was down there like 10 feet away from you and witnessed all this, is just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Turns if you're not back in a day and a half, we're all dead anyways. <laughs> Hickory turns to Eggle and goes, and either wake up Twink or tell him that we're gone. Whenever Don't he does wake up, up, he'll be upset. Twink will be fine. He's okay. a big boy. <laughs> oh, he's you not. You are going with the Sahagan. <laughs> yeah, we're going with the Sahagan. All right. Twink. <laughs> You've fallen asleep. And you're suddenly in a familiar dream space. It's our Lashna's little dream temple. And you're standing on that center platform with the tree again. Oh, well, good. This is just, just perfect. This is perfect timing. 
and like the 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 ethereal bridges of light kind of shimmer again and connect up to a different door than last time. Oh fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> you open the door. It's like a very nice balcony that looks out on just like a sea of stars. I and our lash does just kind of stand in there. I bet this view is beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Are there rails to this balcony? There are. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so I wish you could see it. Why did you bring me here? I didn't bring you here. You just slept next to me and it, it happened. But it didn't happen last night. Well, no, because last night I was resting. What? Yes. I don't. I'm not always here. That. Do you dream every night? What? Do you dream every night? What does I was resting mean? I wasn't. This. This does take some modicum of effort, you know. I don't understand. <laughs> it's okay, you don't need to. <sighs> I was mentally recuperating previously. I have been physically recuperating the entire time I have been physically asleep. Does that clarify? Sure. Okay. So, mm. bottom of the um, ocean. Yeah, right properly fucked. Yeah, no. Also, we're an item now, I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. I told everyone. It is. My that last problem. Husband, Should I not have said that? Well, my last husband died in his sleep. Peaceful. No, it was not. But it's okay, we're not married. We're just sleeping around. And she, like, turns to the the view. <sighs> so what's your plan? Yeah. Uh. How does this world work? The, this world? Yeah, can I just, like, make stuff up here? If I let you. Will you let me? Close your eyes. Okay, close my eyes. You feel like a pinprick on your forehead. And then she's like, okay, there you go. All right. Limited permissions. I create like the, a tiny replica of the ship in, my, in the palm of my hand. Okay, that works. And then you see like these ropes start attaching to the sides of it and then the sails on top and it begins to float away. You're going to make a boat kite. Yep. An airship. Yep. Out of a regular ship. Yep. Normally they're like custom made and these big dirigible sort of things. Yep. If you're successful, that will be astounding. Yep. If you are not successful. We all die. I mean, you all die. You're on the boat. You all die. I will make sure you die. <laughs> okay. I'm going to file that away for things to talk about later. Sorry, I'm in a rough place right now. No, I could tell. I'm pretty sure I'm concussed. Oh, I'm pretty sure you are too. Don't worry. Sleeping near me and being in here, it's, uh, you'll get a little bit of, you'll get a little zhush to you. I don't know what that means, but okay. You'll feel better when you wake up. <sighs> Do you know how to play backgammon? Yeah. Would you like to play backgammon? 100%. This could be a long six hours. Okay. <laughs> there, like a table appears <laughs> with a backgammon board on it. And we're going to cut back to the rest of you who are being carried by Sahagin <laughs> or following after carried yeah, Sahagin. Like, am I just walking? <laughs> yeah, you're just walking through. The, the, it's turned to like rock as you get into the coral, so there's less muck. Mm hmm. And you're kind of following behind Maya at this point because she's walking. She knows where she's stepping to not get into the muck. 
-hmm. Like, very fleet-footed, very in her element here. Okay. Dolus is just kind of floating, like, a couple feet off the ground. You guys eventually catch up to where Mara is. Like, the rest of the swagging catch up to, to the two that picked him up and are carrying him. I'm just enjoying my ride. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> then you guys come out into this, like, a clearing, almost. And in all of these rocks and corals, you can see, like, doorways, but they're clearly not made to be walked into. They're made to be, like, swam into. It's a little Sohagen vi village. And the Sohagen, like, take you all towards, like, this platform in the center. It's made of rock. Like, it's a big, like, circular disc. Amara, they just kind of, like, yeet you onto it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you're really just like a. Oh. <laughs> like, it's just, you could have put me down gently. Lotus, they do the same thing with you. They kind of just toss you. I have been tossed. And then they they kind of spread out around it. So what exactly are we doing? Everyone, they're like gesturing for everyone to climb up on it. Uh huh. And then they're like. You will be prepared for the temple. <sighs> like, <all of> them. <laughs> is it gonna Lotus hurt? Gets up next to next to Lotus. Do I like being prepared, like a, like a chicken, like like for a meal? I don't. We, think you will not be fed to the temple. That's a different <laughs> ceremony. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you have one for that? Yes. <laughs> Who do you feed to the temple? Volunteers. Oh, okay, we don't volunteer. Would you like to we see? No! no. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, they they gesture for all of you to get up on this platform. Yeah. And then they, they start bringing out these platters of this, like, really thick, slimy weed. And they're like, eat, do not chew. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> they make a big slurp noise. I cry. Yeah. Is this texture like familiar to Hickory? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's got kind of a gooey algae texture to it as you yeah. slurp it down like a noodle. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Uh, it's okay. Why are you doing this? Dulles is just kind of holding it. If you are not prepared for the temple... The power of the magic of the water could make you, uh... And he turns to the other swag and they're doing the conversation back and forth again. The other one's like, Implode! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Y'all have yeah. to salt it. It must be as is. It must oh. broil in your stomach. Hickory champions, Ooh. like you know, she she's used to this texture. Everybody except for Hickory, make a Constitution save. Hell yeah! Oh. Homegirl grew up eating algae. Pulse. <laughs> Pulse throws up. Pulse throws up. <laughs> Ray, K, what'd you roll? Fifteen. Uh, thirteen. Pulse. Now everybody's one. slurping it down, <laughs> and you're going to slurp, and it kind of catches on your your epiglottis a little back of your throat, and you're like, Hoo! and then you just crash <laughs> <laughs> like three of them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All the swagger are like, <laughs> <laughs> all their fins like rattle and shit. <laughs> um, you must be treated specially. <laughs> <laughs> and they come over and they put a different platter in front of you and they like gesture for you to lean in. And then one of them grabs your head and they just shove like a thing into your mouth. Oh. <laughs> They're force feeding oh, her. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. You guys Speckly. watch as he just you guys watch as he just gets a hunk of this like weed shoved in his mouth. 
and then like a something similar to a spoon, but it's made of rock and it's longer, oh. and they're kind of just like, oh. <laughs> you know, well deserved. It's really not Can that I have bad. That spoon? Like the <laughs> Sahuagin that's currently got it like halfway into Morrow's throat is just like after, and then they just <laughs> <laughs> another one. In. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Mara, you get. Dude. Force fed four of these weeds. <laughs> oh, do me and Lotus down them? If you I guys, simply? you guys get them down. Okay. Water. What does it taste like? Water. No, it's not good. Okay, it tastes Dulles like seaweed. Yeah. Dolus walks over, and you see like the a little hatch on the ring pops over, pops open, and water starts pouring out. Just kind of. I'm just like I'll sit below it with my mouth open, <laughs> <laughs> like a baby duck in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this reminds me of, Dolus? This what I'm doing tomorrow, no, or no, this situation? No. The seaweed. What does it remind you of? It kind of tastes like the mush that Daddy used to make. Does it? I a little bit. I, I, I don't think he fed me that much. I don't think he prepared food for me. Oh. That's a story for another time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll unpack that later. <laughs> Did you guys grow up eating algae too? I don't think so. Okay. Maya's on like her sixth fucking seaweed. Like she's just like... <laughs> They stop for us feeding you at 5, Mar. <laughs> at 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> the next and day. Like, and they're like, now you must sleep. That's what? You must sleep on sleep. the altar. Where's the altar? You are on the altar. <laughs> oh, this is the altar. Oh. How long are we sleeping? Mm, until the weed awakens within you. I don't know what the... <laughs> okay. What does that mean? <laughs> I feel oh, like we we're just... Not... We're, we're, we're waiting for the edibles to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> until <laughs> the weed awakens in you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's, that's the name of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> awakens within you. Yeah. So... Are you all gonna try and sleep on the altar? I guess I don't really have a choice. Well, I'm, right. take off, uh, I'm gonna take off my robe and use it as a pillow. I'm Lotus, they give you on. the spoon. Yes, spoon. That so was you could call it. You could call it long, strange spoon, and then you can add that was pushed into Mara's throat if you feel <laughs> it's so appropriate. Twink, can you? Uh, Roll for backgammon. Can you, yeah, can you roll performance for me? <laughs> oh, he's actually rolling for backgammon. <laughs> Charisma check? Yeah, tell me what you got. Does it make sense? That's a 14. <laughs> 14. Okay. Arlashina enjoys your company. <laughs> She's like, it's good. That's a first. You're good. That our lash enjoys it's fun to play anyone. with. You don't, do you do you play with people often? Mm, not backgammon. Okay, that makes sense. I used to play bridge and no, war. Not a fan. And like war, war, but like war, the card game, but also like war, war. But I guess that's not a game if you're not, you know, immortal. I we're not gonna unpack that today. Okay. So Twink. Yeah. How how were how were you? Uh, I mean the no. birds uh, they're St Kaylee's thing, and so I sort of know about them. And I mean you're a friend of Fairmont, so I sort of know about you. And I mean I don't really know a lot about Mara, and I mean, I. Uh, the new, the new pair, singular, they're interesting. But you, what's what? We don't talk. Yep. 
But oddly enough, we also, I think, talk the most of the group that you're currently with. Yep. What do you want, Twink? I just... Yeah, no. I just want a life where everyone respects me. That's nice. It is nice, right? It's very nice. It's, it's not asking for too much. No. Good goal to have. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to be just a little bit nicer if that's what oh, you're shooting Oh, fuck that. For. Fuck that. I'm just respect, saying. Respect and friends, they're not the same. I didn't ask You don't have to be friends. I'm just saying that, people but are they, more they, willing to respect people they like. Well, that's, well, I mean, people uh, respect power. Mm, they fear it. The Adelina girl, kind of scared of you. Archibald, oh. definitely scared of you. Good. They should be. That's respect. They respected my power. I feel like... I, I feel like you need... I feel like I'm not going to make any headway on this. I just need it to be known that at any given point, people are aware I can kill them. Okay. Not that I will, just that I can You're a simple man, Twink. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks. I think I picked a good person to sleep with. Although I didn't pick. You just crawled Yeah, no, no. It, yeah, it was there was no choice. In fact, we'll we'll completely we'll unwrap that non later. We will we will unwrap that later. It doesn't need to oh, be talked about right no, now. No, we're totally gonna unwrap it later. Publicly, in front of a lot of people. Good. Yeah. They'll respect me more. Mm, okay. Real power play. I mean, come on. It's you. Yeah, it's me. I mean, everybody knows you. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? Yeah, they do. I didn't ever. I never like planned that. That just kind of happened. See, that's what I want. I just like people. But that's not what I want. And people like me. That's what I want. People like me. People know me. Yeah, and because they like me and know me, they fear you. Respect me. They respect oh. me. No. Oh. Mm. I don't know anyone who fears me. Socrates I mean, I know I might know a few people who fear me. Well, I mean, he's he was like he was like a kid to me. Of course, he feared me. But yeah, that's all I want in life. You want to be Socks's dad? No, 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 maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like. Mm. She moves a back in and pees. <laughs> Twink. If you get me to the Westwood without half drowning me, I will definitely respect you. Well, was that so hard? I mean, I respected you before, but then you talked to this whole thing about fear and then that kind of went... <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's a reason I try not to talk to people a whole lot. No, I understand. <laughs> it just, like, keeps playing. I feel like I've soiled the conversation. Have I soiled the conversation? Nope. No? What do you want? Me? Yeah. You know, a long time ago, I wanted exactly what you did. To be feared? To be powerful. Hell yeah. And I got it. I really did. I really did. I had deities that feared me. I was friends with genies. And uh, then I got older. Now I don't care so much. Now I just want my kids to talk to me. You have kids? Three! Um, what happened? Well, I mean, I retired from an old job. I gave it to one of my kids. And then she got kind of like, oh, mom, you're the worst. And I don't like you. And uh. 
you brought about a you brought about two millennia of war and da 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 the economic disparity. She's right. And then one of them is no longer with us, sadly. Well, my condolences. Eh, it's been a long time. And then the other one kind of just ran off into the Feywild, and I have no idea where he is. Is that why you spend so much time there? Well, I mean, it's where I'm from. I'm sorry, what? It's where I'm from. I'm from the Feywild. Oh, fuck. You didn't put it together yet, did you? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, this is nice. Oh, no, this is nice. I love this reveal. This is not nice. This is very not nice. What do you mean? You know my fucking name. Yeah, I know your name. That's fucked. Also, you drank, you, you drank the food I gave you. But I've known that's, your name for a long time. And you had fun. my tea the first time, so. It's been a while. You, you've been, you've been, if I wanted you dead, it, it's been weeks. If I wanted Socks dead, it's been years. Are you, are, you, are you okay? You're reeling from this. I'm sorry. I just had like seven thoughts go through my head on how I have to kill you now. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I probably will one day, but it won't be today. That's okay. You know, the new one. The new one got close. He asked if I was a fae. Which I'm not. I am an archfey. Well, ah! technicalities it mean a lot to you. Oh, yes. Hmm. <sighs> she moves another piece. She goes, I win. Yep. Do you want to play again? No. Are you done talking to me? No. Oh, okay. We're going to cut back to you all on the altar as you start to wake up. <laughs> Everyone have a it? short rest. Ooh, okay, okay, short rest. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You start to open your eyes. The sun is like directly above you all now. You know, I'm going to use a hit die. No, oh, I'm using multiple. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Doc. Or Hickory. I was like, oh, shit, we Hang did on. sleep. What? <laughs> Doc. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, We've never talked about this before. What happens if I take damage and then we don't full rest? <clears throat> How damaged is Hickory? Uh, she what? took seven. And your healing die you used was how many? I haven't done it yet. Oh, okay, you do it now. Five. Okay. Doc has two points of damage. Okay, cool. Oh, great. This is awesome. <laughs> I didn't think about this. Cool. I'm back up to full. Okay. Yeah, you all start waking up. Maya wakes up, like turns and sees Doc next to her, and she's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, heck. You were doing so well. <laughs> oh. Hello, Doc. Yeah, Welcome morning, back, fellas. You guys all feel very dry. Uh, ah. Out there on the altar in the sun. You all kind of start taking your morning deep breaths and Doc and the birds. And Mara. You all feel really dry. It starts to be <laughs> uncomfortable. And I look at myself like mm -hmm. am I looking dry? Your arm is green. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh green? Oh my god. <laughs> You have a moment of like, ah, and then you remember that's your arm now, and you're like, oh. <laughs> I mean, you I look like, the I was... same. 
do I? I was gonna say, do 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 I look? Do I got eczema? <laughs> Am I looking dry? Like you look the same. Like your green arm especially looks exactly the same. And then you look at the other one, and there's like webbing between your fingers. <laughs> you all have webbing between your fingers, and you glance over at the next person next to you. You got gills. <laughs> I don't know what I am anymore. You all can hold your breath for one minute plus your constitution modifier. And that time started as soon as you woke up. <laughs> oh. Y'all have gills now. Doc just starts pointing at the water. <laughs> Do I still have my wings? Yeah. Wait, how, how much did you say a minute plus your con modifier? A minute plus yep. con. So three minutes. Three minutes for me. You I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm heading toward the water. I'll I'm say that much. Out of here. <laughs> Are there Sahagin around us? Oh yeah, they're all exactly where they were when you went to bed. <laughs> They've just been standing there like the whole time, <laughs> staring no, at us. Literally, none of them have moved. They're blinking like one eye at a time. How long does this last for? Yeah. Oh. What do you mean? Yeah. How long? Yeah, a sun cycle. Maybe a little more. Okay. What is a sun cycle? It goes up, it goes down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doc, like, I was like, is a sun cycle go the sun cycling or us cycling around the sun? <laughs> you have to a year for a versus year. A day. Yeah. Bees <laughs> is now about the mermen. <laughs> So anyway, we're I'm in the Star Lost the Sea. So yeah, you're, you, Mara and Doc start sprinting towards the water wall. I'm just gonna slowly start making my way over there. Not like slow, but like not as yeah, fast as them. Leisurely walk. Maya, who has not physically changed at all, just like walks along with Lotus and Dolus. Why do you not have gills? I can already breathe underwater. So why did you eat the thingies? They told me to. Um, <laughs> it tasted pretty good. Tastes like well, the mush no. dad used to make. I mean, I eat seaweed a lot where I'm from. So, you know, it's not weird for me. Dragon lost, right? Yeah. Is that when Raiden's eating, dra eating seafood? Is Raiden, in, is Raiden in Dragon Lost? Yeah. Then he's definitely eating seafood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Mara, Doc, you go running into the water. It's the wall of water that's rushing upward. So as you run into it, your feet get swept out from under you. And like, you ever get barreled over by a wave? Yeah. Like that happens, at, but upwards. And then you're inside the water suddenly. Like you get spat out into the ocean. <laughs> Doc, as he like stabilizes himself, kind of looks at his arms. And realizes that his extra bulk has destroyed the dress again. <laughs> yep. He's like, yeah. all the, the oh. sleeves are all ripped. Oh, heck. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's just that, that's all he can really think is he. Oh. Hick is kind of muttering in your head about how you have gills. Like she's still reeling about that. Technically, you're the reason I have I have guilt. Anyway, I'm the uh, the other three of you get to the wall of water, and Maya's just like, okay, so with the current, straight in. Don't try to walk into up. it. I'm gonna fly up above the wall and then dive in. Oh, like, like past all the, the several hundred feet up and then down into the water. Like several hundred feet. <laughs> yeah. up it's a it's a that. huge wall of water. Well, I didn't I didn't I didn't remember how far up it was. I was like, I could probably make it. No, I'm no. not gonna do that. I'm gonna listen to my eyes. <laughs> Just like with the current, sort of angle downwards so that it whooshes you up in. Don't try and walk. All right. And then she just like really casually, like perfectly arcs into the water. <laughs> I'm gonna try and perfectly arc into the water. Make a dex check. Okay. I also want to try and perfectly. Specifically, arc into the wait, water. actually, hang on. Up. Make acrobatics. Okay. Uh, Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yay, Fuck yeah. I did good. You did good. I got good? 17. Hell 17? Yeah. 15. Lotus, what, what do you got? 
Got a 26. Yeah, you're fucking <laughs> plus seven in proficiency. <laughs> yeah, so Dolus, you're like, all right, I got this. I just watched this. And you watch Lotus, like, do a back tuck through into it and just vanish into the water perfectly. And you're like, all right, fucking show off. And then you go <laughs> in. <laughs> and you do a perfect, like, dive. Like, there's a little wibble as you get in from your wings, but you're in there perfectly fine. Lotus, you're all underwater. You can but breathe underwater. Can we speak underwater? Give it a try. Doc, Doc goes to, like, go, okay, so. <laughs> yeah, no, he goes to go, okay, and you you oh. go, boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> Doc's kind of just like, <laughs> like kind of just hand motions was like yeah no shit <laughs> Maya Maya like towards the middle of the group is just like yeah that's kind of what people sound like underwater she sound normal or <laughs> she sounds normal she sounds like there's almost like a ring to her voice as she speaks I'm a water genasi do you do that it's Can my you... vocal cords are made for this oh this is unfair. Some Chihuahuan swim out in there with you, and they speak, and you could hear them the same way, like you can hear Maya pretty pretty well. And then they all start swimming off in a direction, and you go to follow, and that's where we're going to end our session today. We're part fish for a bit. For a bit. For a bit. Also, what you are, fell well, into the fucking ocean. Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know what uh, I am anymore. You're a... A freak of nature is what a you fi- are. A fish, a fish bird with a green arm and a person face. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I had gathered ever, that much, yes. You ever seen one of those toys that, like, you know, when you're a really young kid, so you'll just dismantle them and put them back together in some order? That's what Dolus yeah, is like, right now. Yeah, like, my story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching Star Lost Seas. We love playing. We love having you here. If you love, if you like what we do, hit subscribe, hit like, go watch the other episodes if you haven't already. If you haven't watched the other ones, why did you just watch all of this one? So many spoilers. Uh, loser. Wow. Okay. No, not that much. You're fine. Go watch the other episodes. We'll be back next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.